Before getting into the functions and commands for data exploration, let's look at how data is stored in R. The data in R is stored as data frames, which are a tabular representation of the rows and columns. There are other types of data as well, including table, matrices, vectors, and single values. In our course, we will primarily use data frames and time series data in the later chapters. In the slide, you can see a sample data frame. The IRIS dataset is a very popular, commonly used dataset introduced by Sir Donald Fisher. The data contains 150 entries belonging to three different species and includes features such as sepal length and width and petal length and width. The three species have 50 entries each, as shown in the data frame. Each row denotes a particular case, or in this context, features of a particular flower. The column denote the different attributes measured. In the next slide, we will look at different commands to view data. Let's start with basic commands to view data in R. Throughout this lesson, we will look at commands and screenshots of R that will display a sample output. You are encouraged to pause the video and try out the commands on your command prompt for better understanding. The IRIS dataset is loaded by default in R. To view the dataset, just type the dataset name on the prompt. To view the top few records, use the head function. The syntax is head of dataset name, comma, number of rows. The number of rows is an optional argument, and the default number of rows is 6. To view the last few records, the tail function is used. The syntax is similar to the head function. Tail of dataset name, comma, number of rows. In the next slide, we will look at commands to view the dimensions of data. Listed here are a few commands to view the dimensions of a data set. Dim of dataset name gives a vector result of the number of rows followed by the number of columns. Encol of dataset name gives the number of rows, and nrow of dataset name gives the number of columns separately. Try these commands with the sample iris dataset. In the next slide, we will look at the attributes of the data frame.